This is the license plate that we will be derusting along with some other parts. Hopefully I can get a decent view of exactly what's going on down inside. Um, lighting isn't the greatest. Go ahead and pour. As you pour in the muriatic acid, Okay, that's good. You'll notice uh, I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming off. It's starting to get down. Oh yeah, I mean it's like an it, It'll start boiling and literally the rust will start peeling right off the metal. Okay, now you can really get a good idea of the bubbles coming off this and the acid is the key to it just standard muriatic acid pool acid okay the whole key is on your pieces of metal, you want the negative cable connected to it with a good solid connection, metal coat hanger, and your pieces of metal separated. Then on your positive side, I use two rods with jumper cables jumping it, positive connected there. You want a good gap between your metal, you don't want them touching underwater. What you're doing is you're creating hydrogen off your negative side, and you're creating oxygen off your positive side. Technically, you can make an underwater aqua lung to be able to breathe with. This is the most best way to remove rust off any piece of metal. Just make sure if you're doing something like this, that if you have any coated parts with Bakelite or anything like that, make sure you remove those parts. You don't want to sit there anything like that it'll actually peel off that coating I uh, have an ebook that I've written that basically will show you how to coat a piece of metal with stainless uh, brass aluminum you know for custom parts on a motorcycle or a hot rod uh, basically it's uh, electro like electroplating you want to make sure you're in a very good ventilated area and always make sure that your power cords are well protected and you're not standing in a puddle of water electrocuting yourself safety first we got always got somebody that's got to be a redneck and jumping in feet first so don't be a redneck and this is about three and a half hours in the tank 1950 Arizona license plate. I thought it said a 1960 when I started. Uh, you can all pretty much see that there is not much rust left and it will continue to clean this license plate till there's absolutely no rust. Most yet may have to do is lightly wipe it down. You notice I have two conductors going to either side to help even out the uh, the flow it's almost a done deal and that is the best way to remove rust